Hi everyone, and welcome to The Paul Chandler Show. I'm your host, Paul Chandler. In today's discussion, we're going to be looking at NEC and NOS, also known as Not Elsewhere Classified and Not Otherwise Specified. Those are two different variations that are used in diagnosis coding that have often similar meanings, but also are quite different as well. So in a moment, we'll be talking about NAC and NOS, the difference is, but also how they're the same. We'll be right back. with coding NEC not elsewhere classified and NOS not otherwise specified. So I like to think of these as NEC, instead of thinking it as not elsewhere classified, think of it as none of the above. And then NOS, not otherwise specified, think of it as, I don't know. So when we're doing the coding, for example, I like to look at bacterial sepsis of the newborn. And that actually came out really weird when I say that. Um, I only like to look at bacterial sepsis in the newborn when we're looking at the codes themselves, not the actual bacterial sepsis of a newborn. I am not clinical and that's for a reason. So for example, P36. The category P36 in the CPT book gives us the bacterial sepsis of a newborn. And as far as the code options, we have starting with P36.0, and then how it goes all the way down to P36.5, some of the characters in there do go to additional fifth characters, but just in general though, we have P36.0 through P36.5, then it skips down to P36.8 and P36.9. Now in the ICD-10 book, as far as the formatting of it, we no longer put the NEC, the acronym NEC in the code description, nor do we put the NOS, not otherwise specified, in the code description as well. But when you look at the codes though, if you look at, for example, P36.8, other bacterial sepsis of the newborn, and how it begins with the word other. So it's other blank, other blah, 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 blah. In this case, other bacterial sepsis of the newborn, because that's what the three characters are for our category that we're discussing. So P36.8, other bacterial sepsis in the newborn, and then we have P36.9, as far as that description, bacterial sepsis of newborn, because that's what we're talking about here, comma, unspecified. Now I'll just do UNSP on the board here for unspecified. So that's how we know on the diagnosis coding, of the NEC codes and the NOS, because the P36.8, how it says the word other in front, other blank, that's how we know it is an NEC code, because we have that word other there. Other, in this case, bacterial census of the newborn. And then we know what an NOS code is, because it says blah, 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 comma, unspecified. So this is our phrase here that tells us we're dealing with a uh, unspecified code, the NOS not otherwise specified. Another way which works often, not all the time, is if we have a lot of times, again, just remember a lot, but not always, the NEC codes tend to end in the number eight. That's quite common. One of those like 99.999% of the times. So NEC codes usually kind of tend to end in an eight and the NOS codes usually tend to end in a nine. But again, that's you, what you can often go by, but you can always go by is not elsewhere classified, other blank, that blank is in what we're talking about, and then NOS codes, not otherwise specified, blank, comma, unspecified. So that's how you can tell what the descriptions are, which one is which, but what do they actually mean? So with the NEC codes, not elsewhere classified, and how I use that phrase as none of the above. So with NEC codes, not elsewhere classified, think of it as you have great documentation. Your provider is very specific, so you know exactly what bacterial sepsis of the newborn, in this case, the patient has. But as in none of the above, 
any code above it, in this case P36.0 through P36.5, you know it specifically what kind the patient has, but it's in none of the above. So it's in none of these options here, so you go to P36.8, other blank. So again, any C codes, you have awesome documentation, but poor code selection, because that happens sometimes. And then the NOS, not otherwise specified. Think of that as crappy documentation. So you have, again, crappy documentation, so you do not know which specific code you need to choose. You know the patient has bacterial sepsis of the newborn, but you do not know what kind. We're not gonna guess, because remember, in medical coding, we never guess. And sometimes, yes, you are able to go back and query the provider. Sometimes you're not able to. So if you just know, for example, your documentation states bacterial sepsis of newborn, period, and that's it. You, don't, you have no idea what kind of patient has. That's when we choose the NOS code for not otherwise specified. So again, just make differences that we have between the NEC codes and the NOS. How in the descriptions, the NEC codes will always, 100% of the time, begin with other blank. And that blank is whatever we're talking about in that category. In this case, bacterial sepsis in the newborn. So for this example, P36.8, we know what kind of bacterial sepsis of the newborn the patient has, but it's not fit in the characterizations of any of the codes above it, P36.0 through 0.5. So again, NEC codes, you know what kind the patient has, just none of the options listed above. While P36.9, the NOS codes, unspecified, crappy documentation, so you're not gonna guess. So again, with the NOS codes, not the unspecified, you have no idea what kind of, in this case, bacterial substance of the newborn the patient has, no freaking idea, we're not gonna guess, so then you go with the unspecified amount. So you just, simple phrase, NEC, not elsewhere classified, none of the options listed above, NOS, not otherwise specified, no idea, so we're not gonna guess, so you keep it unspecified, unless you're able to go back and query the provider, and they may be able to do an addendum to that medical record with a more specific diagnosis for the patient so you can choose a better code. So again, so thank you for watching this education on NEC codes and NOS, and not elsewhere classified and not otherwise specified. And also too, this suggestion was brought in to us by Joyce. So thank you Joyce for that topic suggestion. And if you have any suggestions that you'd like to see for episodes of The Paul Chandler Show, visit our website, thepaulchandlershow.com. Up on top of the page, click on Topic Suggestion and provide us for your suggestions. And we'll let you know when your episode is coming up. And we'll also mention you on the show also. So I do thank you for watching this education on NEC and NOS coding. And have an awesome rest of the day. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's so easy. It's right there. The little button. Just push it. Subscribe. I got all night. Nothing else to do. Just subscribe.